you, six letters in English, for you, assuring that God has done this for you, giving you the promise, his word, his blessing. Now, again, we want a little bit of OT vitamins for your Old Testament deficiency, vitamin OT here. And we're going to look at the Old Testament, Genesis chapter 28. And again, we'll look at this one Hebrew letter, the Laman. It's like the letter L, but when it's added to the personal pronoun you, it becomes a preposition, to you, for you, a lament of advantage, a lament of possession. And we see this in Genesis chapter 28, where now the son of Abraham, Isaac, is blessing his son, Jacob. And so when Isaac is blessing Jacob, he says, El Shaddai, bless you to make you fruitful and to multiply. Whenever we think of El Shaddai, think of multiply, the blessing that Adam and Eve received in the beginning when there was life before there was sin and death. The first blessing that God spoke upon humanity was be fruitful and multiply. So in this title, El Shaddai, Isaac wants Jacob to multiply, that he would have many offspring that his offspring would be like the stars in the heavens and the sand on the seashore. And so this is the blessing that Isaac gives to Jacob, saying that Yahweh would give to Jacob the same blessing, that he would give the blessing to you. Again, this is that lamed with the preposition, that is a preposition to the pronoun. This is a blessing given to you, the blessing of Abraham given to Jacob. It is that blessing that is seen in the gift of the land, the giving of this gift, the land in which we have the promise of the Christ child born in Bethlehem for you, crucified outside Jerusalem for you, overcoming death in the grave for you. That with this land, you have something tangible, visible, that is assuring you of participation in the resurrection of the body. For this is what Christ came to do as the resurrection and the life. And so this blessing that Isaac speaks upon Jacob, later in the same chapter, 28, is now seen in the dream where Jacob is sleeping and sees the second person of the Holy Trinity. Again, the Son of God, the Word of God, is standing at the top of the ladder in the heavens, and now he is speaking directly to Jacob, that Jacob himself would be blessed, saying, I am Yahweh, the God of your father, Abraham, and of Isaac, that I'm going to give to you this land upon which you are sleeping. And it's in this same chapter where he assures him that I will be with you, that I will keep you that I will continue to help you in these days. Just like he told Abraham that he would be a shield for him, now he says to Jacob that I will do all of this for you as I promised to you. To you. That's the Lama again. That promise for you, for your benefit. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.